Welcome to 7.2. Students learned about rates to describe ratios. They also worked with a lot of word problems. Let's look at our first one. Gretchen frosts six cupcakes in the time it takes Kelly to frost seven. How many cupcakes will Gretchen have frosted when Kelly has done 28? All right, as I was reading, I was noticing some important information. We have six cupcakes to Kelly seven. Then we know Gretchen, we aren't sure how many she has, but we know Kelly has done 28. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a factor puzzle and go ahead and set up the information that I do know. So a factor puzzle just looks simply like this, and I'm going to fill in what I already know. I'm going to go ahead and write down G for Gretchen over here and K for Kelly over here. I know when Gretchen frosts 6 from my problem, Kelly will frost 7. As I continue reading, it says, how many cupcakes will Gretchen have frosted, so I don't know Gretchen's number, when Kelly's done 28. So I know I've got my 28 down here. Now I seem to simply solve the factor puzzle to figure out how many she will have frosted when Kelly's done 28. All right, when I look at 6 and 7, I know the only thing they have in common are 1s. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot those 1s across. I know 1 times 7 is 7. Bring down my 7. And I know 7 times 4 is 28. I'm going to shoot my 4 across. I know 1 times 6 is 6. I'm going to bring that 6 down. And I know 6 times 4 gives me 24. When I look at this, it shows me that when Kelly has done 28, um, Gretchen will have done 24. So I'm going to write down 24 cupcakes. Moving into question number two, it says an antique copier can print three copies in 19 seconds. How many copiers can the copier make in 57 seconds? Again, as I was reading this, I heard some important information. Three copies in 19 seconds, and then I want to figure out how many copies, this is my missing number, or my x value that I don't know, in 57 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and set this problem up in a factor uh, puzzle as well. I'm going to go ahead and write it down here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and label like I did with Gretchen and Kelly. I'm going to label my copiesers and seconds. So my copies and seconds. So I can do three copies in 19 seconds. And then I also am trying to figure out how many copies, so I don't know this one, this is my X right here, in the 57 seconds. Now, as you can tell, I've got some pretty big numbers here. I've got 19 and 57. Not a lot of students know a lot of factors for that. So I'm going to show some ways to solve this problem without knowing if they have anything in common or if they don't have anything in common. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn these into fractions by just looking at them like this. And so now I've got 3 over x and 19 over 57. I need to cross multiply to isolate for my x. So I'm going to multiply across, which gives me 19 x equals, I need to cross multiply again, take my 3 times my 57. I'm going to do that over here. 57 times 3. 7 times 3 I know is 21. 5 times 3 is 15 plus 2 more is 17. So I have 171. All right, so now I've got 19x, which just means to multiply, and I have equals 171. Now to get rid of that x by itself, I need to go ahead and do the opposite operation, which is going to be in this case division. So I'm going to divide by 19, which means I'm going to take, I'm going to do it right over here on top, I'm going to take 171 divided by 19. Again, these are going to be things that many students aren't super familiar with, so just making sure they've got lots of room to show their work. Can 19 go into 1? It can't. Can 19 go into 17? It can't. Can 19 go into 171? It can. It's going to go in there quite a few times. If I think that 19 is close to 20, I need to think that I'm going to probably go quite a few. So I'm going to start with a guess and check spot. It's going to be a little bit higher. I'm going to start with 19 times 8. 9 times 8 is 72. Put down my 7 or put down my 2, carry my 7. 1 times 8 is 8, plus 7 more is 15, so I've got 152. Okay, I know I'm getting close, but I'm not quite there. One more on top of that would be 19 times 9. 9 times 9 is 81. 1 times 9 is 9, plus 8 more is going to be 17, which gives me exactly 171. So I know it goes in there 
9 times 9 times 19 is 171 with nothing left over. So going back into my factor puzzle, how many copy years, or excuse me, how many copies will it make in 57 seconds? I know this x now is going to be 9. So my answer says how many copies would it be? I could say it would be 9 copies in the 57 seconds. If you have any questions about 7.2, make sure you see your math teacher.